How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Town of Salem. In this video we will be discussing the latest teaser that just came out. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So, here we have it folks, Traders in Salem. That is the name of the spin-off game that is coming out. So, Blank Media comes out and says, here's what everything has been leading up to. Blank Media Games officially announces the latest game in the Salem universe. Traders in Salem. Before I jump in, we'd just like to point out that this particular name was actually predicted in the comment section of the previous discussion video by this guy Zion Smith, who said, I'm gonna go with Trader of Salem for the name. Basically on point, well done, <laughs> well done dude, you got it straight up. So, I think we were correct. I think the theory is true. Let's start off with this. The Elder. This was the character we were waiting for. This guy on the right, some people thought it was the Vampire Hunter, some people thought it was something else. Turns out it's a brand new character. The Elder. Now, initial thoughts. This looks like Guile's Cory, except it looks like Guile's Cory's father and an older version of the individual who requires a cane. He looks pretty damn cool, has some resemblance, probably evil. Now, this is what the spin-off game is all about. They, they went ahead and explained it. This is what it is. So, the next evolution of Salem. It says, the town of Salem was in a conflict that lasted nearly a decade in which countless souls were lost. The innocents of the town banded together and banished the Necronomicon, aka the book. The power the book held over the minds of the town folk was erased. An era of uneasy peace began, but the darkness could not be sealed forever. Once again, dark magic threatens to send Salem into chaos. Then they have features. They got these nice golden portraits. Looks suspiciously similar to some of my thumbnails. Blank media, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Getting some ideas. This is what we got. Traders everywhere. Use your wits and abilities to find the traders who are possessed, or become a trader and unleash your inner evil onto innocence. Essentially telling us you're either a trader or a townie. Roles, apparently there's a wide variety for both traders and regular town members. Familiar, everything that you love about Town of Salem but improved. That's very interesting. That makes me feel like they're going to be investing a lot into this game. They might possibly be dropping or just leaving the this current version of town of salem uh to rot who knows it says roam the town with freedom of movement explore salem in a way you never have before so confirmed we can run around we can actually explore town of salem that was the theory we had originally turns out it's true now this is the sad part Sad part is, it says Traders in Salem is scheduled to begin alpha testing before the end of the summer. Bro, before the end of the summer. Before the end of the summer. Essentially August, essentially July, probably late July. They made us wait seven weeks. They hyped this up for seven weeks to tell us to wait three months more. Despite the fact we kind of figured out what everything was, in the second or so teaser. That is very unfortunate. However, there are more details. What is Traders in Salem? Apparently, it will be the next evolution in the Salem universe. Apparently, they've taken everything that we love about Town of Salem and they're improving it. Control your favorite characters such as the Pilgrim, Witch, Werewolf, and more to explore Salem. Characters are randomly assigned a role at the beginning of the game, Use your role to investigate, silence, or kill to achieve your goals. Dozens of roles, many classic Town of Salem roles, along with many brand new roles, will be available to play. So, what this means is, the original seven that we see in this teaser, there's definitely more than just this, and they have different abilities. So, some may have the ability to investigate, some the ability to silence, and some the ability to kill. Now, I'm wondering whether or not it's just those three abilities or if there are more. 
They go, what's different for traders in Salem? Unlike Town of Salem, you will be able to move your character around as you wish. You will be able to interact with the environment and other players as you run around the world. I think that's pretty cool. And as we said earlier, that would be the next evolution of a social deduction game. So here's the interesting part. They say only two factions, and it will be town versus traders. The neutral roles that will be coming over from town of Salem, such as Executioner, Jester, and some neutral killers will be joining the traitor faction. So confirm there's Executioner, confirm there's Jester, confirmed there's neutral killers. We know the werewolves in there, and maybe there's going to be more. Maybe there's going to be arsonists, maybe serial killers. They say this will mean that there's no neutral killing faction creating a 1v1v1 stalemates. And they and this is the kicker. This is the big one. The Mafia faction has gone back to Italy and will not be appearing in Salem this time. GG, goodbye Mafia. They are out of here, dude. The Mafia are gone. Blank media don't want them there. And dude, to be fair, you hop into a coven or any game. In fact, you hop into any game of Town of Salem. There's a pretty big chance that the Mafioso the Framer, the Hypno, the Disguiser, the Godfather is going to just straight up leave on the first day. So, <laughs> how to outplay those people? Remove Mafia from the game immediately. Instantly, the disconnection rate goes down. They say no more Kingmakers. Roles such as Survivor and Executioner could sometimes be the deciding vote in a 1v1v1 scenario in which their vote decides who wins. Kingmaker positions oftentimes led to unfun game outcomes. 100% true. They're taking that out. They go with all the non-town roles joining the trader faction. These situations are no longer possible. So let's pause it right there. This is very interesting because it seems as though the executioners, which are confirmed to be in this game, are always going to be traders. Now, they're clearly not going to be obvious. So maybe everyone looks the same. They're in-game Avatar does not look like what the Executioner would look like. Maybe you yourself, when you play the game, will see yourself as an Executioner, but maybe everyone else will see you as a Townie. What I'd like to know is, does this version of the game have a day and night cycle? Because it seems as though that's what we have. Will there be voting in this? It seems as though there will be, because if there's an Executioner in this game, it means people will be getting voted off. And the Executioner will still be trying to frame someone and pushing a good person to get lynched. Executioner's confirmed. Jester obviously wants to get voted out. That's another character that confirms that there's going to be voting in this. So, we got this third paragraph. Planned chaos modes. Our new freedom of movement will allow us to create brand new chaos game modes that would have been impossible in Town of Salem. We are testing and prototyping ideas for Capture the Flag, Cops and Robbers, along with other game modes, and will reveal more information on our ongoing development of these in the future. Traders in Salem is scheduled to begin alpha testing before the end of the summer. Alrighty, so... This is what it seems like to me, and... The poster has already written the same thing, and I agree with it 100%. It looks like it takes elements from Among Us being a bird's eye view type of game where you can run around, but there's no tasks. Instead of doing tasks, it looks like it's going to be more so like Trouble in Terrorist Town, which is a type of game where people are running around, you got traders in there, you got good people in there, you got traders killing the good people, you got the good people trying to find the traders, no one's necessarily doing any tasks. But Trouble in Terrorist Town, for those who don't know, is an FPS, and obviously this would be more of a bird's eye view Among Us type of game. I would say that's pretty interesting, finding a middle ground there. Now, what do we think about abilities, right? It says you can either silence, kill, or investigate. Now, does every townie get to investigate? We don't know. Are there more abilities? I'm not sure. Obviously, the evils will be able to kill, and I'm assuming that they'll be able to run around and kill maybe during the night or whenever. However, when would they be able to isolate and separate townies to kill them? Because it doesn't seem like there's tasks in this game. So how would you be able to go about that? Maybe at night time, people can't see anything, and then uh, the trader can see, and the trader can do stuff. 
obviously it's, it seems like evils will be able to roadblock investigative townies and prevent them from tracking down tr other traders, but will townies be able to roadblock traders as well? We don't know about that. What do you guys think? I, I would say it's a very interesting concept. I'm very sad that the Mafia are gone. They're just straight ripped from the game. One thing's for sure, there's definitely voting in this, and if there's voting, like, I would say there probably is a day and night cycle in this. We do know there's voting. If there's a jester, if there's an executioner, there's voting. However, there can't be stalemates because there's only two factions. Townies are obviously trying to find these evils. Evils are obviously not going to be looking like evils. It straight up says that these roles are, are just joining the, joining the traitor faction. So, a werewolf is a neutral killing. We know what the werewolf looks like in this game. Looks like this. Is the werewolf 100% evil? Is the PB 100% evil? Is the witch, for example, 100% evil? I like. I'm kind of confused because we saw in an animation not too long ago, we saw the witch getting stabbed by the vampire, and they're both kind of neutral. Maybe the vampire is actually a good guy, and the witch is a bad guy. But to be honest, I would say killing someone is a pretty evil thing to do, and he does it in a pretty, like, evil type of way. He comes out, stabs her, and then runs off for the body to be discovered. What do we think there? I wonder what this guy's ability is. Like, does he have an ability? Surely he does. I would say it's not 100% clear what's going on at the moment. However, capture the flag mode, cops and robbers mode, sounds pretty interesting. I'm not sure how it would work. Uh, just in practice. I, I capture the flag mode. That's pretty interesting. Maybe all of the evils can see what their evil team members look like, but surely the townies cannot see what the others look like. Otherwise, he'd be given away. Oh, you're the werewolf. You're a neutral killing. You're evil. Just straight. Oh, you're a jester. Look, you're wearing jester clothes. So they would be hidden looking like townies. So ability usage, I would say, would happen at night time. Daytime discussions would take place, and that's when the votes would happen, that's when someone would get lynched. So, all the deaths, I would assume, happen at night time. Investigations will happen at night time, and silencing will happen at night time. Do they happen at the same time? We don't know. Again, when we kill someone in this game, do we have to physically actually run up and kill them, and then run away? It's kind of confusing. It's kind of confusing, and I'm not too sure how to piece that together. The only thing I can be sure of is that during the day there would be voting, and during the night there would be ability usage. There would be a day and night cycle. I don't think it'd be like Among Us where you hit a button and then you call a meeting. Also, another thing we're not sure about is how many people in a game. Will this game rely more on voice chat, or will it rely more on text? It seems like it would be a voice chat type of thing especially during meeting time. And I guess during night time, no one would speak because at night time, everyone goes back home. So during the day when people leave their homes and come and meet in the circle, people turn their voice chat on. When they go back home, they take their voice chat off. And maybe that's when you leave your home and you can do stuff. Maybe people come to your home and kill you. Maybe when you leave your home and you're on your way somewhere else, you can get killed on the way there in the middle of the road. And then maybe your corpse gets discovered during the day, just like kind of in the regular game, but you can run around. I would say this is pretty damn cool. The only thing I'm sad about is we have to wait before the end of summer 2021 to, for alpha testing, bro. It's not even beta testing. It's alpha testing. We don't know when the full version of this game will be out. To be fair, like, three months isn't that long, and you do want them to come out with something good. You do want them to put effort into it, take their time, come out with something nice, come out with something original, you know, really put a nice spin to it. So if the game delivers, I would say it would be worth the wait. If it doesn't deliver, I will be very disappointed. Everyone is already pretty disappointed because why would you make us wait seven weeks with little teasers just to tell us to, that we have to wait another three months to even see, like, to even play the game, to have a chance at playing the alpha version of the game. That's pretty disappointing. Uh, I don't, it's kind of trolled. Like, we kind of got trolled straight up. We kind of did get baited. Right now, it seems like it's essentially Town of Salem, 
but it's a bit more basic because it's only good and only evil. Everyone, I guess, would look the same. We don't know how many players are in it. Let's assume there's 15, just like regular Town of Salem. But at nighttime, you can actually physically run around rather than just you click a button. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Very clearly, there's a lot more time before anything is seen, anything is shown, and we're just going to have to chill. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next one.